Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and I want to show you something about X-Plane 10's Plane Maker. I'm on approach here as you can see into San Carlos Airport in San Carlos, California. Uh, this is an airport I actually fly into in real life in a nice little Cessna 172N. Uh, anyway, here I am on final approach and I'm a little low. So I've got to make some corrections. And as I'm coming in, I switch over to my 2D view for one moment just to check something. I'm not sure what, but I switch. And when I come back, wow, my 3D viewpoint is all haywire. Uh, this is where the default airplane, at least the one I have, sets up to. So I have to quickly rearrange this, or reset this to my for my 3D view so I can actually see where I'm going. The fact that I'm low uh, is kind of critical right here so this can really mess up your landings so wouldn't it be nice if you could get your viewpoints to be in the same place or in a place that you really really like them uh, so I want to show you how to do that in X-Plane 10's Plane Maker so stay tuned okay before we start modifying the airplanes uh, you need to know that all these aircraft that you purchase or download for free are copyright protected uh, so before you make changes, make sure uh, that it's okay with the developers. Most of them will allow you to make changes for your own personal use. So with that said, uh, let's continue on. Right. We want to change the viewpoint in our airplane. We just don't like that situation we were in. So what you do is you go to Plane Maker. You open up Plane Maker. You open up the aircraft you want. And then you go to Standards Viewpoint. And here is where we'll make those changes, right here. These three values set the viewpoint for your aircraft. Uh, these points are in relationship to a reference point somewhere on the aircraft. Developers use either the nose or some reference point usually in the center of the airplane and everything on that airplane is in relationship to that point. And that's what these measurements are. These are feet from that point. Um, so we have the long arm of 3.5 feet, the lateral arm of minus 0.8 feet, and the vertical arm of 1.5 feet. So we're going to change these. So I've played around with this for some time and came up with the numbers that I like. And they are uh, 3.6 minus 6, or minus 0.6, excuse me, and 1.6. So I've changed those values and we go up to File Save and then we open the program or the airplane and see what happens. So let's go check these values out and just see what difference it made in the airplane. So here we are now on approach again into San Carlos in the airplane that I've modified. And now I switch to 2D mode and go back to 3D and voila, nothing has changed. I'm right where I'm at. I can make my corrections for this approach and land safely. So I hope this encourages you to jump into Plane Maker and modify uh, your favorite airplane uh, so you get the viewpoints you want. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, I ask you to click the like button. If you want to leave a comment, please do so. Thanks a lot again for watching. God bless.